Joe Cox had so much to be happy about. A wedding, then two children, and the job of her dreams representing her hometown in Yorkshire. Nazi sympathiser Thomas Mayer shattered it all. It took a jury just 90 minutes to find him guilty of murdering his MP. After tears inside court, her family spoke outside and said they don't hate her killer, they pity him. The killing of Joe was a political act, an act of terrorism. But in the history of such acts, it was perhaps the most incompetent and self-defeating. An act driven by hatred, which instead has created an outpouring of love. An act designed to silence a voice, which instead has allowed millions of others to hear it. Because Joe's murder sent shockwaves around the world, it was a week before the EU referendum, and white supremacist Thomas Mayer wandered round Burstall, then lay in wait for Joe Cox at the library, where she was due to meet constituents. In the commotion that followed, someone dialed 999. If you hurry up, you'll get him. Okay. He's hell on this chaos, he stabs people and shot people. Thomas Mayer had shot, then stabbed Joe Cox and shouted, Britain first. As she lay dying, she urged her colleague to run, saying, let him hurt me, not you. He stabbed a passerby who tried to help, then calmly walked away. Police arrested Thomas Mayer nearby. It's me, he said, as he was rugby tackled to the floor. I'm a political activist. But in the interviews that followed, he refused to speak. You're choosing to sit there and say nothing at all, which is your right. However, their families, they want to know what's gone on. Thomas Mayer's silence continued throughout his trial and he offered no defence. His up. lawyer asked if he could make a statement today after the verdict, but the judge refused. Sentencing Thomas Mayer, the judge, Mr Justice Wilkie, said there is no doubt this murder was done for the advancing of violent white supremacism. This was a brutal and ruthless example of such a murder committed with determination. He went on to say the offence was of such exceptional seriousness it could only be marked by a whole life sentence. Thomas Mayer showed no emotion, nor when the victim impact statements were read out. There was one from Bernard Kenny, the 78-year-old man who Mayer stabbed as he tried to help that day. What you did was a pure act of evil, he said. I know what I did was not enough to save Joe, and sometimes I feel it was not enough. But faced with you and that day again, I would do the same thing, because it is simply the right thing to do. And it is that attitude that is keeping Joe's family strong. We will respond with strength, love, positivity and enthusiasm. Strength and love for each other and positivity and enthusiasm for the principles Joe believed in. Compassion, tolerance, acceptance, understanding and a determination to continue to fight for what is right. They want to remember Joe's life, not the manner of her death. Her courage, not her killer's cowardice. Tessa Chapman, Five News at the Old Bailey.